Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Now this is an interesting law, not just interesting, but a bit alarming. So this story is coming from Chad. Chad is now fining those who reject marriage proposals. So if you say no to marrying someone, you might end up paying a fine. So people who refuse a marriage proposal in Mangalme in northern eastern Chad must now pay a fine known as a Michilini. The region's higher Islamic court ruled that the figure be between from $23 to $39 for women and $15 for men. The Chadian Women's Rights League has launched the hashtag Stop Amchilini to denounce the decision saying it is illegal as it violates a national law guaranteeing freedom of consent to marriage. Forced marriages are prevalent in Chad with young underage girls being the usual victims. So despite the law passing in 2015 that prohibited child marriage, 60% of women aged between 20 and 24 were married when they were still children, according to the figures from Chad's Institutes of Statistics. This new law is a bit out there, like how can someone ask you to marry them and you don't give consent, you don't want to marry them, so you say no and then you have to pay a penalty for saying no to their proposal like this is something i've never heard of and they're claiming that they got it from the quran so um any of you that are watching this video our muslim brothers and sisters please let us know down below is there anything that says that in the quran because i've never heard of it if this is the case then some people might even make it a business they'll just literally go to someone's house and say okay i want to marry you if you say no pay up right now like yeah, I don't know this this law is tricky and as I always say like culture is a good thing tradition is a good thing to have principles is a good thing but at the end of the day there are some things that we might need to change especially the ones that have been passed down and we've never questioned it I'm not saying everything okay like hear me out here I'm saying like things like female genital mutilation it's still happening in African countries especially in the rural areas they literally mutilate female's genitals because it's believed that she's gonna be a better person after that she's gonna be respectful like they believe in so many things so they do it but end up hurting the girl in the long run so we don't want that to happen and we don't want that for our people like we want a better society if some things are not serving us and they have been proved to be wrong or they will hurt us why not leave them behind i'm not saying let's dump everything obviously most of our cultures and traditions are beautiful and we still want to stick with them because what's the alternative to be westernized no thank you like we don't want that but at the same time we also have to question certain things if they're not working for us so in this case just putting this law out there saying that you have to pay a penalty if you say no to a proposal like what is it doing to our rights like we have to consent to marriage and it's like they're taking away that right from us anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am ongel zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.